Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On this episode of Big Day's Family Adventures, the Zion Narrows Riverwalk. Zion National Park is an American national park located in southwestern Utah near the town of Springdale. A prominent feature of this 229 square mile park is Zion Canyon, which is 15 miles long and up to 2,640 feet. In 1909, President William Howard Taft named the area Mukuntu Weep National Monument. Try saying that a hundred times. And in 1918, the acting director of the newly created National Park Service, Horace Albright, drafted a proposal to enlarge the existing monument and change the park's name to Zion National Monument. We all say thank you. We are now inside the park. Shall we get started then? Enjoy! If you come in from the east entrance, you will find Zion Mount Carmel Tunnel. Construction of this 1.1 mile tunnel began in the late 1920s and it was completed in 1930. And the purpose of building this Zion Mount Carmel Tunnel was to create direct access to Bryce Canyon and Grand Canyon from Zion National Park. Alright guys, on the day my son and I hiked up the Narrows, we didn't realize the shoe and rental place Zion Outfitters was located near the Zion National Park Visitor Center. And with another storm coming later that day, the chance for a flash flood was probable. The river did not look appealing being all muddy from all the recent storms that passed by the area over the past few weeks. Well, we got off the shuttle and to our surprise, Zion Outfitters was not on site, which I assumed by mistake. But not wanting to let this chance slip away, my son and I decided to just do it as Nike's slogan. But I'm not going to ruin my postal work shoes, so there's only one thing to do. No. I'm using my shoes to balance myself. This lady on the edge here that I was approaching, I wish I was able to record her reaction because when she saw my feet, her eyes got really big and it made me laugh. On our drive in from Bryce Canyon National Park, it did rain along our drive. So the chance to hike the Narrows today didn't look too good, but as we got closer to Zion, we found a break in the storm system moving on in towards Zion National Park. So I told my son, let's just do it.
at this time I thought it would be great to take some photos at Zion Narrows with my son and after a few photos I told my son go ahead I'll just wait here because I don't want to keep mommy waiting too long back at the base of the entrance. Alright guys, so the critical mistake that I made while hiking the Zion Narrows was to go barefoot with nothing on my feet but my socks. And so I was holding my shoes to keep myself balanced. And this is a critical mistake because with the flash flood possible, if I were to get caught in the flash flood, I would have never made it out of this canyon alive. So the Zion Narrows River hike is definitely worth it. Just make sure you come prepared unlike my son and I who were not prepared for this hike. Not there. It's a slippery there. It's better to be in the water. My feet have ice. And make sure you go to the Zion Outfitters at stop number one close to the National Park Visitor Center. And guys, thank you so much for supporting this channel. Up next will be the Horseshoe Bend in Arizona. Please subscribe and share, comment and like this video. And thanks for watching. Until next time, Big Dave out.